So you figured out how to use Ecamm virtual camera, right? And you've been using it to go into Zoom and now you've got interview mode and you're like, man, now I can actually bring a guest into my Ecamm production and take that into Zoom, but they can't hear my guest and my guest can't hear Zoom. What do you do? Listen, Loopback is the answer. And in this video, we're gonna dive right into it and figure out how it all works. I'm Kirk Nugent, and I challenge everyday people to think holistically about their relationship to technology at home, for their families, and at work for career success. And in this video, we're gonna look at Ecamm, Zoom, and Loopback. And we're gonna look at how we can use Loopback to direct traffic, if you will, in terms of your audio and sound for both Loopback, uh, for, sorry, for both Ecamm and Zoom so that your guests in Ecamm can hear the entire audience in, in Zoom and your audience in Zoom can hear your co-host or your guests on screen uh, in Ecamm. And, and, and just to be clear, as we dive into this, you can do this entire production in Zoom and still be live on Facebook, still be live on YouTube. Think about that for a second, and some of the possibilities that that will open up for you. So without any further ado, let's dive in. So we're here on my desktop and we're looking at Loopback. We're looking at Zoom in the bottom corner. I'm gonna bring my wife in in a little bit and you're looking at Ecamm. So Ecamm is where you're seeing me and for the most part, that's where I'll stay. But your main focal point right now is gonna be on Loopback. So what you wanna do in loop in Loopback, I'm gonna turn off this other mic here. What you wanna do in Loopback is to create two microphones. So let's start with the microphone that you're gonna create for Ecamm. So we come up here, we click on the plus sign, new virtual device. I'm gonna name this Ecamm mic. You wanna be specific with these things. You, don't, you wanna make sure your naming convention is such that it, it's self-explanatory. This is the mic for Ecamm. I need to put the stuff for Ecamm in this microphone, right? Um, maybe you're smarter than me, but I have to do it like this in order for me to figure out what I'm doing. I always get rid of the pass-through. Pass-through is really something more automated that Loopback can do for you. Just kind of taking audio from one thing and putting it to another. So I always get rid of the pass-through. So I'll click on that. I click delete. Now I've got a blank slate. So under sources, we hit this plus sign. And so this is the Ecamm mic. So what do I need in the Ecamm mic? Well, I need this mic. Um, so that is my M-Audio mic, Air 192.4, boom. And you can see that that's going there. Now for me, I'm not, I don't know what it is looking like for you, but you can see that audio is only coming on one side on that mic. So I'm gonna grab this, pull it over to here. Now you see on channel one and channel two, you, it's, it's doubling my audio. So now you're hearing me or whoever, whoever is gonna get this microphone will hear me in stereo instead of mono, which is great. So now Ecamm mic has this mic in it. Okay, um, when you click on the options here, you can actually have, you have a slider for the volume of this specific mic. So if you wanna turn yourself down in a specific mic in loopback, you can do that without turning down the entire mic. So we go back up here to sources again, we click the plus sign. We're gonna, we're gonna go down and include Zoom in the Ecamm mic. Because in the Ecamm mic, we wanna, this is the mic we're gonna use in Ecamm, that's why we've called it the Ecamm mic. So in this mic, we wanna include Zoom. Your audience is in Zoom, but when they speak, you want them to be heard by your guest in Ecamm, so we're including the Zoom mic. And um, I'm gonna probably show this a couple of times throughout the video, but where you see here, mute when capturing, you click on the options, right? Hit this down arrow for options, and it says mute when capturing, you're gonna wanna uncheck that. If you don't, you as the host will not hear Zoom. Trust me, it happened even in the recording of this video, so <laughs> this is a tip that you're gonna wanna pay attention to. And that's pretty much it. We're done with the Ecamm microphone. For the purposes of what we're doing in this video, uh, for this test, this microphone is set and ready to go. So that, that's, that we're gonna leave it as it is. 
Next thing we want to do, come new virtual uh, device. So we click on new virtual device and we're going to name this one Zoom mic. Again, I'm just trying to be as descriptive as I possibly can because I don't want to confuse myself. This is the Zoom mic. And so the Zoom mic should have Zoom stuff in it. Do I want the people in Zoom to hear me? Of course I do. So what do I do? I got to add my mic. Boom. Same thing again. Double that line so that they're going to hear that on that side. I always click this down on on physical microphones. You don't have the mute when capturing piece there because you're not really supposed to be hearing yourself anyway. So uh, <laughs> we're going to go here again to sources and we're going to grab Ecamm Live. Bam. Ecamm Live is there. So we're good to go. Ecamm is in is in um, in this microphone. But as you can see, uh, mute when capturing is checked. So I'm going to go through and uncheck that. And you just want to make sure that that thing is unchecked um, on the different applications that you might add. I want to pause here and just look at the sources for a second and just show you that you can bring up Finder. You can bring up, I mean, all different Google Chrome's uh, Google Chrome. Uh, you can bring up anything. I mean, QuickTime. I, I don't see it in here right now. I guess I would need to open it for that to work. But all of those things are here. So now we've got Ecamm mic and we've got our Zoom mic here. And and you'll notice that in in Zoom, um, I am now seeing the the microphones, Ecamm mic and Zoom mic, right? And over here in um, in Ecamm, I'm seeing loopback audio and loopback audio too. So when you see that, this is just a quick little trick. It, it, they're there. Those two mics are the ones that we created. I'm just going to turn this off, turn it on. I'm going to turn this off, turn this on. And let's go back here to Ecamm and you're seeing, okay, Ecamm mic and Zoom mic are now available. So what I'm going to do now, Anthony Corns has already joined us. I'm going to bring in uh, my wife in Zoom, Kanique Mighty Nugent, and then we're going to do some testing to ensure that all of this is working like this. And so um, here in, in Zoom, I've got my wife, Kanik Nugent, and she can hear us right now, but I'm pretty certain that you, well, no, actually, I think you can hear her. So uh, Kanik, can you say something real quick? All right, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not certain that that's working, but either way, you will be able to hear her in just a second when I bring up the other mic. And I've also got Anthony Corns with me, and I'm gonna try and bring him up right now. Boom, there he is. What's good, bro? How's it going? All right, there he is, there he is. The man, the myth, the legend. All right, so, and he's got on a T-shirt that I would like to rob. Anyway, the so here now, what I need to do in, in Ecamm is, on my microphone, go and select the Ecamm mic. Again, this is why naming is so important. Select the Ecamm mic. Now, now that I've selected the Ecamm mic, actually, let's let's go back for just a second. So, Kanik, you can hear me, right? She can hear me. You can't hear her, but we'll get there, right? So, Anthony, can you hear Kanik? I can hear only you. Okay, so. We Anthony can't hear her right now, so I'm going to change this, change this to EK mic, and so now, and can, can, can you say something? Hello, hello. Anthony, did you hear that? I heard loud and clear. And and I'm certain that you heard that now too, because now in Ecamm I'm using the Ecamm mic, which includes Zoom. So now you can hear Kanik who's in Zoom. So if you were doing a a, a broadcast of sorts like using the virtual camera going into zoom you have loopback as your virtual mic now everybody in zoom can hear those who are on screen if you will uh in ecamm but the the opposite is not true so anthony can you say something real quick hello hello kanik did you hear that no i didn't all right so now i'm going to go into zoom and select my the the zoom mic here Boom. So we got the Zoom mic selected. And Kanik, you can still hear me, right? Yes, I can. She can hear me. Anthony, could you hear Kanik? Good. Yep. And 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 can you just say something again, Anthony, real quick? This is the way. One more time. Because I didn't hear you that time. <laughs> this is the way. This is the way. <laughs> a, a reference to um a reference to Mandalorian. Okay, Kanik, did you hear Anthony that time? 
Yes, I did. All right. So now we have two way audio. OK, everybody in Ecamm can hear everybody on Zoom. Everybody on Zoom can hear everybody on Ecamm. And so no one's the wiser. All ships are running on time and we're conducting traffic right here on my screen. So that's how you do it. Set up individual mics. This is a great thing about loopback. You can set up as many mics as you want because it's a loopback, right? You can set up a mic for everything. You um, set up a mic for Ecamm that includes what is required in Ecamm. Set up a mic for Zoom that includes what you require for Zoom. So think it through because it may not just be that you need an Ecamm in the Zoom mic and Zoom in the Ecamm mic. You may need other things as well. You may, may need Finder. You may need... Um, QuickTime, if you're going to play a video, you may also need um, Google Chrome in one of them. I don't know. But whatever you need in the microphone, make sure you're included in both, in both. And then, of course, because if you are the producer and you're actually in the show, you want to make sure that that, that checkbox is unchecked. Mute when capturing. All right. So there you have it. We connected the guests in Ecamm to the audience in Zoom and you know, we had people talking back and forth. Everything sounds good. Everyone can hear one another. No echoes, no loop. OK, no, no reverb, no echo, no, no screeching sounds. Everybody could hear one another and it was good. All right. But what I want you to kind of sit back and think about some of the opportunities that this opens up for you. Um, think about loop back and some of the really creative ways that you can use it for your live streams, for your productions, whether you're doing them to, you know, different destinations in social media like Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn, Twitter, wherever, or if you're doing them into meeting spaces like Google Meet and Microsoft Teams and Zoom, like I've showed you today. Uh, think about what you, you know, I, I've, I've mentioned this before, um, having a Zoom meeting with my family where we were celebrating my sister's birthday and I was able to grab a playlist from uh, YouTube, a reggae playlist and just, you know, three, four hour playlist, click play on the thing, add it to my microphone that I was using in Zoom and then just have bring down the volume on that thing. So it wasn't, you know, competing with our voices, but it was just kind of setting the tone and the ambiance. Music has a way of doing that. Audio is so critical and important for your live streams and for your productions, whether you're doing them for the uh, social media or for your meeting spaces. And so just using and utilizing loopback in that way can be really good and really creative and add an effect, um, kind of make things possible. Because the truth of the matter is, if the guests in this scenario, at least if the guests could not hear my co-host or my guest in Ecamm, right? If the, if the audience in Zoom could not hear the, 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 the guest in Ecamm and the guest in Ecamm can't hear the, the audience in Zoom, then what are we even doing? So this is a, a missing piece. And a lot of you have been asking for this explanation. So I'm kind of glad that I was able to bump this into the list of videos that I have to create. And I'm hoping that it was meaningful for you. Hopefully, hopefully that it, it hoping that it added value for you. And I want to hear from you guys. I mean, let us know in the comments what you think and, you know, what other types of videos like this one that you would want to hear or see. I have been uh, playing around with kind of a second look series that I'm going to be working on, looking at Restream, looking at uh, StreamYard again, kind of a, a full review and, and some other features that they've rolled out since my last look at it, um, looking at uh, even Ecamm and doing more of an in-depth thing there. want to look at even OBS um, and several other platforms. Let me know in the comments what are some of the things that you want to see, uh, because honestly, this is what we're doing for this space. This, these these videos are for you. We want to make sure that they're adding value for you. Uh, for those that have already subscribed, we cannot thank you enough. Uh, for, but for those of you who this may be your first video, somebody shared it to you. Some you may have done as a quick search and, and this is exactly what you were looking for. We'd ask that you take this journey with us. We'd ask that you'd hit that subscribe button, that you'd smash that like button and make sure you hit the bell as well. We go live every Monday at 530 for the show, How It All Works. And and there's so much rich content. We bring a lot of guests on the show. So we, we want you to become a part of the HIAW family. 
Man, my name is Kirk Nugent. And again, I'm hoping that somewhere in the course of the video, somewhere while I was clicking around with my guests on screen, that you were able to see the behind the veil a little bit, that you were able to um, see that light bulb go on and, and see how the puzzle pieces fit together. Basically what I'm saying, I'm, I'm hoping that you're able to figure out how it all works. And I'll see you in the next video. Later.